Hey, what's up guys? Jack here from Super Mad Pie, and today I'm here with Don Broco's latest album, Technology. The Bedford Rockers have been destroying the ideas of genres now for quite a while, and technology is no different, with a clutter of musical styles, instrumentally, vocally, and lyrically. Their debut album, 2012 Priorities, was a, a great way to burst onto the scene with this sort of laddish culture, with loads of bouncy riffs, and uh, really huge catchy choruses. The follow up came in the form of incredibly sexy and earworm central that was automatic, that oozed this 1980s coolness. That was uh, a few years ago back in 2015. However, Don Broco have picked up some tricks and thrown it into the melting pot that has created this new sound. A sound that I believe should be on Radio 1 all day long, headlining arenas, and that can get any fan on side, whether you like really pop centric choruses, a sort of trap element, there's some hip hop flows in there, and of course some really nice heavy riffs too. The record kicks off with titular track Technology, which highlights and complains about the use of technology and its corrupting potential. But lead singer Rob Damiami's vocal and the heavy guitar riff gives it a nice upbeat start to the album. And then moving on to Stay Ignorant, which kind of encapsulates the whole band's feeling and vibe and their basic their ethos behind their music. You've got the one side musically, the perfect example on this is Tom Doyle's bass line at the start, which is very, very nice and appealing to the ears. But then going into the chorus, they always have this sort of, it's almost a trademark now, a catchy chorus that is big and it's anthemic as well. And then behind it all, there's this laddish culture that surrounds the band. And it's, this is highlighted on the track and some of the lyrics. The, one of the opening verses has sink some beers, watch some match. And then moving through, you've got Shaw Festival and live favourite t-shirt song, which has this simple but effective structure, highlighting this sort of poppy element as well, and that goes into Come Out to LA, which Matt Donnelly's lead vocal is catching the hook at the start so hard that earworm is placing your ear for about 37 days and it won't go out. Come on, do it, eh? Come on, do it, eh? By this point, it's hard to see where the band are going to go from here. It, it, they've got so many elements that have worked in such a cohesive way, and I heard that word thrown a lot, but uh, it is true. They've put a lot of elements together and created this really nice pop centric track. This is what pop music should sound like all the time. Pretty have those heavy riffs coming in once again. The videos that they've done alongside this album, this is one of the best ones. It's kind of taken face off literally and uh, really going wild with the with the music. And this is kind of going back to this sort of laddish, but not taking themselves too seriously, which I think is very important. But going back to the music, the guitar riff kicks you in the head and it highlights again that certain tracks have certain focus on certain elements. So Pretty really has this nice crunching guitar and like the, that isn't the only track that has that sort of vibe but other tracks have different elements such as the next track The Blues which Rob Damiami's high range gets on put on showcase and then this really huge anthemic chorus is the one that is shining through. Tightrope has this arena feeling size song quality about it and there's no denying that Don Broco are tearing up that road right now. They're heading out on so many diverse band tours at the moment, the likes of Five Seconds of Summer, but then going out with Enter Shikari and Bring Me the Horizon and loads of various bands. And it kind of just shows and reflects in their music what they're trying to put across. It's like a band that is good for everyone and is okay for everyone. And again, you see that progression in terms of a pop sort of sounding song with everybody having a really nice catchy hook. The guitar tone keeps it that bit more heavier and a bit more alternative side of things. The cowbell kicks in for greatness and it comes up with a straightforward chorus, give me fucking greatness or give me nothing at all. So, you know, fair play, this kind of blunt, straightforward. Again, it's kind of just their whole aesthetic. They're not into deep songwriting. It's just very straightforward, catchy stuff, which is a, uh, it's very fun and it's very nice to listen to. Older Broco surface for Porky's showcase and that kind of post-hardcore sound that they were a part of that sort of scene. You'd think of the likes of old LTA, Mallory Knox, I guess you can throw in there before it kind of gets all a bit softened and a bit weaker. They were a part of that scene as well and you can definitely hear that on the Porky's track. Now the album does tail off. Uh, you've got the track Yen, which does stand out with Tom Doyle slapping the bass galore. Don Broco have released an eclectic album full of catchy hooks and uh, incredibly musically talented musicians in the guitar, bass and drum sections. They had so many elements in the sort of the pop way but then also in the, alter the alternative sound there's not a band out there that sound like them at the moment. This music's built for the live environment. You can just see it in big arenas, people bouncing along to those riffs but at the same time you can have a little mosh. 
The lyrics can be a bit superficial at times, but overall they don't take themselves too seriously. They're all about fun and, uh, you know, that fits them perfectly. The album is two or three tracks long, but by the end of it you can think back and think ten of those songs could have been singles, so I'm very happy with that. So if you haven't already checked out the album, go and give it a listen. It's out now and they're coming up in the UK on another tour with uh, various different uh, support. So you've got to check out the dates to know wh who's supporting where. But uh, yeah, it seems like they're moving up the venues. They're going to be selling these out, I think, personally. So let's see how it goes. So that was Don Broco's Technology. If you've listened to it, make sure you drop a comment down below letting us know what you think. And while you're down there, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new. And in case you missed it, check out our merch site as well. You can pick up our brand new tee there. Check the link in the description alongside our social medias. I've been Jack and we'll see you later.